Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be on how to smoke out your eyeliner. And I think this is this is such an easy look, you guys. It's so universal. It's so simple to do. It just takes a couple steps. The end result is so great. And it looks good on absolutely everyone. And so I really wanted to show you guys this. A lot of people are liking the makeup I had in my December favorites video with the one with the deep plum red lip. And... So I, I, I wanted to go with this lip because this is a little like, lip I like, you know? If you guys want, I can always do a tutorial using that lip as well if you guys want to see. But this is the eye look I had in it and I wanted to show you guys how I did it because so many people requested me to do it. So this is the look. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get you to the tutorial because I feel like my intros are so fucking long and I just want to get you guys to that shit. You know? So let's start the shenanigans. Let us, please. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start off with some tape. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of using tape in makeup in general. There's only two things I use it for. I use it for smoked out liner like this, and I use it for glitter. And so we're going to get a little piece, nothing too crazy. And then we're going to cut it in half. So that one piece goes on each eye. And the reason I'm cutting it in half is so that I don't get so much like of my foundation like ripped off because I have foundation on already. Usually you want to do this makeup before you have makeup on. But I'm stupid and I didn't do that. And so what I'm doing is I'm sticking the two pieces of tape on the back of my hand so we can take off the first layer of like stickiness so it doesn't rip off our eye. When you're placing the tape, what you want to do, so we're going to grab the tape with both hands and we're going to line it right underneath. Be very careful with this, please. Go right underneath the lashes. At the corner of our eye, you see that right there? And the reason we're going underneath our lashes is because we don't rip off our actual eyelashes, please. So now you have this nice straight line from the bottom of your lash line going out all the way to your brow, okay? I'm just going to stick that there. And the part, honestly, this part does not have not to be stuck. This part doesn't have to be stuck. The part that really matters is this part right here. This really needs to be against the skin so you can have that sharp, crisp line, okay? So first things first, we're going to go in with our transition shade. Just how we go in with transition shades when we're doing normal eye looks, we're going to go in with the transition for this as well. For me, I'm going to be going in with Makeup Geek, Beaches and Cream. Of course, because it's my favorite. And the Luxie Beauty 207 brush, which came in the Jin's Makeup Brush Collection, which is really, it's beautiful. Gina did a great job with her brush collection. I think they're absolutely amazing. And so what we're going to do is literally, we're going to go in with that Beaches color. And my eyes are already primed, by the way. Shit is primed. We're going to go in, and we're going to really just feather that forward into the eye. From our crease all the way in to about halfway through our eye on the lid too. Half the whole eye you want, you want to have covered with the transition all the way out to the tape. This brush is perfect for this because it's so fluffy, it's not too intense and it's actually it's an angled brush, I don't know if you can tell, but it's angled so it's really great at diffusing from the top and it's much more dense towards the base. Boom. So we have a transition color down first and then we're going to transition again. We're going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills color in Fawn. The reason I'm using this color Fawn is because I want it to be a very neutral look. I don't want it to be too warm. I don't want it to be too cool. And now we're going to grab one of Morphe M433, which is, I've talked about this many times. It's one of my favorite brushes. And now we're going to take just a little bit lower. Closing our eye again, just taking it a little bit lower. The Anastasia shadows are so amazing, so soft, so pigmented. And this one we're going to just take about halfway to down the eye and into the crease as well and outwards. And we're just putting that a little bit lower than that beaches color. And then I'll just go back in with that original brush we went in with that Luxie brush and just kind of blend everything together. I'm a freak about transitions. I need them to be completely, completely effortless. I do not like seeing any hard lines at all. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. So I really like having just a very diffused, easy transition. And I'll apply a little bit more fun towards the base. So it should look something like this. And so when you're looking down, you have the most pigment on the outer corner and it and transitions outwards from here out to here. You can see that it's fading into lightness. So now we're gonna go in with Makeup Geek Corrupt Eyeshadow, which is probably the blackest eyeshadow I've ever, ever, ever used. And it's $5, like, are you, are you kidding? Like, it's so amazing. And we're also gonna go in with the Pencil Brush by Makeup Geek as well. It's actually one of the best brushes for tight lining and for detailed work that I've ever used in makeup history ever. So we're gonna go in with that, and we're just gonna load up that brush. You don't need a lot of Corrupt because the Corrupt eyeshadow is extremely, extremely, extremely pigmented. So just pick up a little bit on the brush, and now we're gonna go even lower than Fawn. Now we're gonna run by our lashes about halfway in, and pick up a little bit more product if you need some more. 
and that we're gonna run along the tape about where your natural crease is about to go. So that's what we're gonna go up to right there. And then we're gonna kind of bring it down here as well. We want it to be extremely, extremely black by the lash line. So we're really just packing it on by the lash line and then lighter pressure going upward. Now that we have the black down, we're gonna go in with another clean blending brush. I don't want it to have any other product on it. And with the Makeup Geek Eye Blender brush, which looks like this, it's a little angled brush. And that we're really gonna just buff in that black with the, into the fawn. You don't need meaning with this. You just blend your little heart away. And because you have the tape there, it's kind of foolproof this way. And then we're just kind of taking it outwards. This is just one of those looks that it's kind of laborious because you have a kind of a lot of steps to do this. But honestly, like the finished product is so worth it. Look, see how fast that was blended out. Like this is why it's so extremely crucial to have those transition colors down first because it makes everything so much faster and everything much more smooth. And so now that we have that blended out, I'm going to go back in with a little bit more corrupt. So I really, 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 really want it to be as dark as possible. Look something like this, so you can see that my liner is very diffused and very blended. I just noticed that I took it farther than I wanted to take it. The black, I wanted it to go about halfway, not really necessarily like three-fourths of the way, so I'm actually going to fix that a little bit. So what I decided to do is I decided to grab a big shading kind of brush, and I grabbed my mistake color. So for example, if I wanted to kind of erase a shadow or kind of diffuse it out even more, I would color for that, and I like to call it like my erase color. And for me, it's Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek. What I mean by erase, I basically mean I'm going to load up this Vanilla Bean color. I'm going to pack it onto the lid very lightly and blend it outwards into the shadows and as you can see right there it's starting to diffuse out even more and that's kind of what I want it to happen I didn't want my black to be so far in so I'll grab this vanilla bean and I'll take it and run it over the black to give it a nice lighter diffused look see that now it's definitely not gone it's not erased like how I was saying but it's definitely a lot less pigmented and a lot less intense and then I'll just kind of go back in with that black and then I'll dust vanilla bean on my brow bone as well. So it's, a, it's a nice bone white shadow. It's not too intense. It has a slight, slight, slight sheen to it. It's nothing too heavy at all. And those are my kind of highlights. I'm not really the biggest fan of those intense brow highlights. A lot of people are. They love them. It, I'm just not one of those people. So now that we have everything diffused and blended, I'm going to take off the tape. Carefully to give me this winged out shadow liner. And the cool thing about liner like this is that if you are like me and you have like a hood here that wants to fall on your lid, this isn't gonna transfer at all because it's a shadow, it's not an actual liner. So you get that nice definition on the outer corner of the eye, but it's not gonna transfer on you. And this is why I don't like doing the tape method is because it removes my foundation and my concealer. So what we can do to fix that, grab any concealer brush, like the concealer brush that you used earlier, like today, and I'll grab it and I'll just kind of run it over the spots with the tape to kind of just diffuse out the fact that there was a hard line there. And this will just help me really buff it out. And this is the Morphe M335, one of my favorite concealer brushes of all time. I talked about this in my December favorites video. It's absolutely amazing. And so what I'll do is just kind of buff out the lines and look, see, not nearly as intense and as crazy as it was before. Okay, so I'm gonna go do the other side real quick and I will be right back, my little darling. Okay. So now that we have the tops of both eyes done, they look like this. Honestly, they're not completely 100,000% symmetrical, but it honestly does not matter that much, truly, to be honest. Like, as long as you get it as symmetrical as you possibly can, no one can fault you for trying. This is as even as I'm going to get for right now. So yeah, so just don't, don't fret if you guys don't get it completely even for the first time. It's one of those things that just takes a learning curve, especially if you're doing it for the first time. So don't give up on it, because I, you guys can do it. Don't you fucking give up on me, or I'm going to kick your ass so now we're gonna do the bottom lash line we're not gonna actually do really much to the bottom lash line at all when I do a liner like this I like to keep my bottom lash line as clean and clear as possible <laughs> okay Neutrogena calm your titties so yeah we're gonna grab that same Makeup Geek brush and whatever we have left on this brush we're just gonna run it on the lower lash line barely like barely and I'm talking just the outer corner only see how there's a little something something right there not too much though we're gonna take that about a 30% in I'm being exact. <laughs> and then we're just kind of blend that out. I really just don't want anything too harsh out here. And I'll just buff it out with whatever we have left on that Morphe brush, the M433. So it looks something like this. It's not too intense on the outer corner, but you have a little bit of definition, and I want to keep the definition solely on the outer corner, so that's why you really, you just want to keep it on the outer side. Like that, okay? So we're just going to put a quick coat of mascara on. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Better Than Sex. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? 
God, my lashes are so ugly, it's not even funny. Put a little bit on the bottom too. Carefully. Who's texting me? You know what, that's enough. I'm considering myself lucky right now with the amount I have on, so let's move on. So now we're gonna go in with lashes. We're gonna go in with the Blinking Butte number four, which are these, because we're really focusing all the attention on the outer corner. So we're going in with these lashes because they flare out at the ends. I don't know if you guys can tell. They flare. I get so much anxiety taking out minks. God damn. Put on a quick little coat of duo. Not too heavily, not too heavily. Oh my god, so I watched Into the Woods tonight with my friends, and I am like so in musical mode right now, and I'm so much in like play mode. So I just want to like fucking bust out and sing and dance and be really gay. <laughs> you know? Look down, put the lashes on, look down, play some. The Blinking Butte Lashes Go. Slade. I'm done, Mama Slade, she's done. She's had her tea, she, her pot is full. I'm Slade. So now we have one lash on. Let's go ahead and do the lash on the other side. Oh my gosh, if this mirror doesn't open. I have a lash in my hand, a mirror that won't open in my other. <laughs> I rule the world. Yes, lashes, yes. Number fours, give it to me hard. Okay, now we have our lashes on. Let me just go ahead and zoom you guys in to the final eye look. Yes, so that was it for the final eye look. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys learned something from it. I really enjoyed making this for you guys. Um, I think that this look is so easy, so universal. Anyone can do it. It's gonna work for all different shapes of eyes. And it's just one of those things where it's like, dude, everyone will look good in them, okay? Oh, and just in case people are wondering, I'm wearing the Girlactic Beauty matte lip paint in starlet that's the lip color i'm wearing right now this is actually one of my favorite colors of the moment i had got this at fame expo i re like used it and i completely fell in love with it all over again and so i'm just like holy crap starlet where were you in my life i would check out the galactic lip paints they are absolutely amazing and they're one of the best i've ever tried ever in liquid lipstick form one more thing one more thing. So a company slash app hit me up and they're like, hey Manny, we love your videos. We're a new app. We're just starting out. We would love for you to talk about it in your videos. And I'm like, you're an app and you're hitting me up to talk about your app on my videos. I'm a beauty channel. Like that makes no sense to me. So I was just, I kind of blew it off and I was just like, you know what? No, like that's, that's so weird. Like why would I talk about your app on my channel? Like that's awkward. So I just basically didn't reply and I'm sorry. I'm sorry to you guys for not replying the first time. It's because I just didn't see how it would apply to my channel. They hit me up again and they're like, hey, we apply to beauty in the beauty world. And I was like, you do? How so? It's basically in like an online closet, if that makes sense. It's called Snups. And the reason I thought it could be applied to you guys, if you guys are interested in this kind of thing, because this used to happen to me at Mac all the time where someone would come in and they would forget their color. They would forget what eyeshadows they had. They would forget literally like everything and they're like i don't know what i have already oh my god i'm not in the system i don't know basically this app kind of prevents that the app stores it in like your little makeup file and it's like okay cool this is like the makeup that you have this is the name of it just in case you might forget anything you can make it private you can make it public you can show people what you have you can show people what you don't have it just it doesn't matter when it comes to that um i'm not gonna go into too much detail about the app necessarily i just want to let you guys know about it if you guys do have problems with remembering items while you're out shopping and you're like, I don't know if I have this already, like what am I going to do? I don't know my color, I forgot it. So if you guys are interested in something like that, go check it out. Um, it's called Snups again. I'm just letting you guys know because Snups was kind to me and they said all these wonderful things and I know what it's like to start, um, start fresh and start new. You know what? Everyone starts somewhere. Like, it's not fair for me to just be able to accept makeup. You know what I mean? It's not fair for me to just accept makeup and... Just talk about makeup all the time at all times and not give other brands or other companies or any other anything a chance to talk, be talked about, you know? And so everyone starts there, you know what I mean? Like, I only grew in my channels and they thought it's because people talked about me and people grew me and they helped me, they lifted me up. So why would I deny that to an app just because they're an app, you know what I mean? So hopefully you guys do great, Snubs. Um, if you guys are interested in an app like that, go check them out. If you aren't, totally all good. This is still my makeup channel. It's not going to be for everyone. It's a smartphone app. So, yeah, just letting you guys know if you guys are interested in something like that. If not, then please just ignore that PDA. PDA? <laughs> what the fuck? What's it called? Public service? PSA. Ignore that PSA. <laughs> and, yeah, so let me know what you guys want to see next. I love creating these videos for you guys. And...
Mm. What was I going to say? Yeah, so let me know in the comments mark below. We guys started this video. If you aren't already subscribed, subscribe to me, please. I would really appreciate that. And then like, of course, this video if you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. And I would be so happy to make it for you guys. Cannot wait for IMATS LA. I'm so excited. I'm so excited if you guys are going. Please, if you guys see me, come up to me and say hi. I'm so fr I swear I'm really friendly. I'm a fucking nice ass bitch. And I cannot wait to meet you guys. And I love you guys so much. And thank you guys for all the constant support. It really means so much to me. And have a great rest of the night or day wherever you are. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys. Smoked out li liner. Right? Yeah, it's good. To <laughs> okay, I don't know what I was going with that one. Look at this damn pimple. I popped this shit like two days ago and it's still on and popping. The M4335? M4333. Can you fucking read? We got that shit going. We're gonna go ahead and put on a coat of las a lascara. We're gonna put on a coat of lascara. Do you fucking hear yourself talking? You see, you see, mama, you see, her Lucy. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. Oh my god, I drink too much Diet Coke. It's 1:04 in the morning, and I drink too much Diet Soda. Too much Diet Soda. Stop twitching, I.E. motherfucker. Now we're gonna do Paul. Paul Slack. <sighs> Hi, dyslexia. Let me call my doctor right now. Hold on, sir. I have a problem. I can't speak. Okay. Call me Chitty's bitch. Come on. Call me Chitty's bitch. Call me Chitty's bitch. Mm. The gins makeup, makeup. Mm -hmm. The gins makeup, makeup. When I was showing you, I said I put lashes on. Please don't repeat that because that was. Ha! Ah! Well, fuck you too, huh, bitch? Okay. Ow, my pants are too tight. I think I'm getting. Getting fatter, seriously. <gasps> Are you kidding? <laughs> Eyeshadow, which is this. Oh my god, I can't see. Yeah, it's so bad. <sighs> I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. Do you ever hear the moon cry? I don't think that's how it goes. Why is this so difficult? Hold on. I need both, ha I need both hands. We're going in with the fun cart, the fun cart, the fun cart, we're going in with that. And we're also going to go in with the pencil brush by Mika Beak as well, which is one of the brush, the breast. It's one of the breast brushes I've ever used. Breast. <laughs>